Motive? Yeah. Yep, this mysterious card key is your next motive. The classic carrot and stick approach. No one can work a carrot or a stick like daddy. Huh? What? Screw your carrot and your stick. Give me whips and chains all the way. Baby, Mew, we get into something else, okay? Go do that with the robot. Go do that with uh, Kibo, okay? <laughs> Scroll? Do I use this? Oh, I was right! Okay, okay. Ooh, oh. Ooh, I like that. Hmm. Okay. Another flight of steps, yo. A staircase. Seems you can go upstairs from here. Hmm. Huh, the fifth floor, huh? How many floors does the school have? I have no idea. It seems like it's endless, okay? What the hell is this? What the fuck? Okay, you know what? All right. Uh, what you doing? Hey. This has a completely different feel from the fourth huh? floor. That door over there is just plain suspicious. Could it be? What? Wait, what door? I don't even see one. All I see is big ass monokumas. Oh my god. Oh, oh, wait, there's a door over there. What the hell? Whose room is this? Is this? Oh wait, this is your room, baby. This is your room, the cosplay room. I saw sewing stuff. It looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. This looks like Sumigi's room. The ultimate cosplayer's lab, yay, there we go. Hmm. This is amazing, it's like an event venue. That must mean this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. Ooh, girl, let's see what you got. Um, even with all these materials and tools, it fits by myself. I see. Cosplay is fun to do with others, yeah. right? There's no point doing it by myself. Do you wanna try? Hey, Shuichi, do you wanna give it a try? Come on, try cosplaying with me. Huh? Me? Yeah. yeah, I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. To become a completely different person and feel like you're a part of a different right, world. Right? Doesn't that sound interesting? Don't you wanna live in a fictional world? But... Uh, but I'm investigating oh, right now. Right. Then let's do it later. Let me know when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or game. Yeah. However, even if you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Okay. Right. <laughs> I would love to do it. I only cosplayed a few times and I liked it, so I would definitely be down. I would definitely. Okay, but you got a bar here? Hey. This looks like a bar. Is this yeah. set too? Well, what do you know? It's just like the real thing. Sumigi spoke cheerily and sat down at the table in front of the hey. counter. Hey, Shuichi, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you'd like. Huh? A signature yeah. cocktail? Yeah, it seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. <laughs> I used to make them a lot at my part-time job. Don't worry, it'll be non-alcoholic, of course. I was thinking that. I was like, wait, aren't y'all underage? <laughs> well, I don't really know the drinking laws in Japan. Or whatever, whatever country they're in. I don't know. Ah, uh, okay, I'll take one. All right, let's see. Oh. Hey. How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh, sure. Mm. Wow, you're good at this, aren't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. Aww. I used to say to my customers, I'm in a bit of financial trouble. <laughs> if only someone could help me out. She lured them in. <laughs> what? what is this feeling? I suddenly feel charitable. Okay, it's ready. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What kind of part-time job does she have anyway? Mixing drinks like this? <laughs> what if she worked in like one of those little maid places? Like those those maid... I would say club. I don't know. Maid house? I don't know. <laughs> With those thoughts swirling around my head, I drank the drink Sumiki Shanity. Please come okay. again. Yes, thank you. I'll be back. Hey, we got a little bar here. It's nice. Hold on. Did that just change? This is a set for photo shoots, huh? There are a bunch of backdrops here. This is an incredible setup, huh? So it's a bunch of different, different places to set up. Okay, all right, let's look at this. This is another set for photo shoots. It has quite the gothic feel, hmm. Okay, is that it? Oh, there's another place over here. A sewing machine and work table. Perhaps a space to make and repair costumes. For it certainly matches the atmosphere of this floor. It doesn't look like it will open. I'm supposed to have to leave it be for now. Okay, so we need a key for that later on. Even less green than last time. There's still maintenance going on. Huh. Oh? Hey! So what's the deal with this place anyway? What kind of facility was it before? Are they renovating an old facility? Perhaps constructing a new building? Mm -hmm. At the start, Manukuma said they were supposed to be facilities for us. That's, all, That's obviously a lie. That plush bear is stuck with lies and shit. <laughs> yes, you are right. Well, he's lying. He's an exceptionally deceitful being. Uh, um, <laughs> being? Well, he's a robot, isn't this he? Robo -phobe. Shuichi, have you been a robophobe this whole time? He said, let me know. Okay, you got a problem with me? You got a problem with how I'm built? Bitch. <laughs> no. 
No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm sorry. But when we finally learn what this ultimate cavity really is. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> is this chemo place? The buildings just combined. Ah, what did you do to my lab? It's going in super deep. He's like, right, right, just leave her alone. <laughs> First for the time being. <laughs> oh, you finally learned to read the air. Nice job, robot. It's read the room, bitch. If you're gonna go ahead and insult him and do it correctly, Kokichi. God, I'm oh. some people. Oh. No, I still never got a fragment from Kibo, so I'm gonna go ahead and get him again. Why? Meteorites were bonding the Earth with Gopher Project. I can't believe you forgot about such important events. Should I hang out with him? Yes, I should. Well then. So would you like to go to the library? Perhaps there are documents that explain the state of the world. Hmm. I wanna see if Kibo's gonna give me a fragment this time, cause I didn't get one before. I spent some time with Kibo searching for a book that might have us a clue, that might give us a clue. <laughs> All right, we go a little closer. Definitely give him a present. Like, maybe this? Maybe he might like that. Thank you very much. Shuichi, thank you very much. I'm humbled by your generosity. But Did you give me this simply because I'm a robot? I will report your robophobic actions. Since you have came to speak to me, I will only assume that you've taken some sort of interest well. in me. Well, you are a robot after I all. Understand. Indeed, curiosity is a very useful human quality. Very well, I'll talk human with you. Huh, I feel as though he's talking down to me a little. Well then. So first, I will explain my functions. As a robot, I smooth, I'm somewhat extraordinary compared to but. you. But I remember you saying something about having the strength of an old person. <laughs> True, but considering the tragedy that occurred during the trial production, it was a logical design choice. Well then. Now first is my visual ac acuity. I have 2013 vision. Impressive, no? Really? You think so? I believe that's pretty normal. Why? What are you talking about? Over 50% of high school students have less than 2020 vision. But no matter what, my visual acuity will always be 2013. Uh, if it got any worse, I suppose that would count as a malfunction. Listen closely. My next function will definitely surprise you. Shuichi, please raise huh? your hand. Huh? My please. What? I want you to put your hand in front of my uh, mouth. Um, like this? Uh, oh, oh. What the hell is this? Uh, Lukewarm breath grazed across my hand. Well, Kibo is a robot, so maybe not breath. How about this? How about that? In addition to my warm breath, also in functions as a dryer. Mm. I see. Please wait. Now, now, you can't be surprised just yet, okay? Case in point, my hand can turn into a multi-tool. Both hands, I have 20 tools at my disposal. My finger can detect wafting aromas and even distinguish between different scents. I also have a music player for when I'm bored. I can even play tapes and records. Neat, huh? I'm still thinking about how weird your breath felt. I don't know about your other functions. <laughs> don't be too surprised. After all, I am the ultimate robot. Um, amazing. Uh Okay. Well, of course. Right? I am Professor Itabashi's masterpiece, after all. The professor's technology has given me the functions to support a life of hmm. comfort. A life of comfort, I see. That makes but sense. However, I... my greatest attribute is actually not a function huh? at all. It isn't? That's... You can't tell what it is? How about this? It's my compact, lightweight design that makes me <laughs> makes my various functions possible. This is what truly drives Professor Itabashi's technological revolution. Well, now do you understand just how amazing I am? I don't know how to respond to his boasting. Maybe someone like me would really appreciate his mechanics. There we go, I finally got a friendship fragment. Thank you, jeez. I thought he was gonna give me one because he thought I was robophobic for giving him robot parts in my catalog. <laughs> because I'm up all night thinking about you, Monofini. But, oh, what? You can't just blurt out something like that. It's kind of crazy, really. I've never thought about you this way before. Hey, when did you worm your way into my heart? Aren't y'all siblings? So what are you gonna do about this? We can't, we're family, you know? You can't forget I that. Need I need you. Oh, Lisa, I need you. I want you. Uh-uh, uh-uh, get that, get that incest off the screen. What was that? Yeah. Well, no, Monica, it's time for training. I feel like I haven't done it in a long time. All right, to the courtyard. I almost forgot about their training sessions for a second, because we haven't done it for a while. <laughs> Shuichi. Ah, huh, good, you're here, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's been so long since the three of us have done That's this. True. It's because Kaito was scared of ghosts. <laughs> I wasn't scared. Wait, don't make me think about them. When I first met Maki and Kaito, I never could have imagined hanging out like All this. Right. Anyway, let's get started. First off, 100 sit-ups. You guys better get pumped up. All right, you better count your reps, sir. The three of us lined up on the grass and started our routine. All right, there we go. One, I like this. Two, three, mm -hmm. 25. 26, ah. 27. Show them out, girl. Maki, you're way too fast. When you really think about it, the universe is impossibly fast. Oh. Hey, less talking, more working. Right. What about your sit-ups? He never tried to do his works. Kaito. Kaito? 
He's just daydreaming. He's not even training. Kaito stood up slowly, his body hesitant. He is still sick. Sorry, gotta use the bathroom. Hmm. Kaito slowly began walking away toward the school building. I wonder what's wrong. He's not in much of a hurry for anything to go to the bathroom. Do you want me to go check on him? I just finished doing my 100 sit ups. What, already? But, but maybe you shouldn't go because it's the boys' bathroom. Hmm. <laughs> Did that not occur to you? Do you want to die? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's fine. By the way, by the way, this seems like a good time to yeah. ask, but did you like Kaede? Hey, she knows. She picks up on it. We here. Wait, let me not say that because they're not saying that it's a killer. So let me not say that's Maki. I like Maki. So, but yes, I think that he did. Huh? huh? Weirdo. Well, I assumed you did it because that should really uh, be weird. Um, what do you mean weird? I don't understand. Like it's someone you just met, especially in a situation like this. Um. Well. Then, then tell me, under what circumstances is likely someone not huh? weird? Huh? I don't know. I don't really understand what no. that is. Never mind. Just forget I have no. asked. Forget you asked? Why did you bring this up, oh Maki? God, no. no reason. I was only huh? curious. No um, reason. Maki, you're being cruel. You asked me a personal question and act like you don't God. care? Hey, were you guys making out when I was gone? Hell no. Perfect timing, as always, Kaito. Uh, um, anyway, what's wrong, Kaito? Why did you leave all of a sudden? Uh, I drank too much water before training, but I emptied myself out, so I'm good now. Let's go! So let's continue where we left off. Let's get pumped up for sure this yeah. time. Continue. I don't recall you doing even one yet, Kaito. Right. So from the beginning, of course you guys are going to restart with me. I already finished doing my 100. Huh. Don't be so cold. No road is long with good company, right? <laughs> I don't think that phrase applies to this. All right. Kaito threw up in the bathroom. I bet he did. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. He's still not doing anything. He's still not doing anything. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should um, train too. Right, do uh, it. I don't have anything to worry about. Cause, uh -huh. I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. That's his reason for not working out, because he's Kaito. <laughs> hey, no fair, Kaito. He's basically a host of these workout sessions because he doesn't do a damn thing. Guys, let's enjoy this more. It's not often you get to play a killing game, you know? So who's gonna be the next victim? <laughs> the game can't continue until there's another victim, so someone start killing already. If you don't, then I'll kill someone instead, just like I promised. Got it? That's enough! Why you? That's enough! Kaito shot a Kikichi like a bullet and, ooh, ooh, he slapped him. Ooh, he punched him. Ooh! Kikichi? What the hell's gotten into you? Uh, you were uh, messed up to begin with, but this is a whole nother level of weird. There you, you go, Kaito. Like this, I'm gonna knock your senses back into you. Uh oh. Uh, you already hit him. Right, technically. Kaito, please stop. There is never a good reason to commit violence. He's always a voice of Even reason. Even minor aggressions can lead to atrocities such as murder. Hmm. Huh. He didn't even say anything. Listen. Huh? Mew? The only thing you should be reckless with is that tree trunk dick of yours. Uh, wait, what the fuck? What? Huh? Mm. It's what you would usually say, but what's with the uncharacteristic you concern? Know. I'm serious. There's no reason for Gon to do something so reckless. Booyah! Because I, Mew Imura, <laughs> the gorgeous girl genius, will save you know? all. Feeling well? Nah. No, I'm fine. My stomach just hurts is all. Hey, for today's training, instead of exercise, huh. how about the three of us just talk? Huh? Huh? What? Talk? About Idiot. what? Stupid. Nobody decides what they talk about before they start. Well, let's go find somewhere to sit. Kaito picked a random spot in the courtyard and we all sat down. Hmm. He wants to talk about life because he knows that he's dying. So what are we going to talk about? I do. Didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? Right. Come on, man. That was just a joke. Uh, uh right. Then um, let's talk about Maki. Oh? Me? What about me? You right. Know, like general stuff about you. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. For True. example, what blood type do you like? What huh. blood type do I like? <laughs> don't you mean what's my blood type? He's saying it like she a vampire. <laughs> hmm? Did I say something weird? Well, yes. whatever. <laughs> uh, Kendall, you're kind of bad at this. Right. Well, then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? <laughs> a guinea pig to you guys? Right. You know, like, what I is have this? been meaning to ask. When mm -hmm. we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? She had a lie. Shuichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. Uh, really? Sorry. All right, then. Well, Let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. I grew up in an orphanage. Aww. I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. Aw, I'm so sorry, baby. Maki slowly began to tell us her story. Aw, aw, look at her. 
at the orphanage where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Hmm. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. Not that she wanted to, but just because she was put in that position. Oh my gosh. So that wasn't a lie then. Hmm. For some reason, kids like me. <laughs> She's but like, I'm I don't not know why. I'm particularly fond of taking care of them. Aww. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. Hmm. It's not a matter of whether it suits me or not. I never had the right to choose from the start. Huh? The right to choose? When I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the orphanage. At first, they seemed like normal, kind men. With smiles on their faces, they watched the kids play, but then the men never approached them. They can back on it. I'm sure they were scoping out our talents. Huh? They were scouting for assassins, and that's why you were picked? Okay. I didn't want to go, but I heard they would donate a huge sum of money if I did. I remember thinking that I had to go, but that was the beginning of hell. Oh, baby. Mm. Ever since that day, I trained to become an assassin. Aww. I think I had some natural talent to begin with, but I worked incredibly hard as well. Oh, if wow. I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding. Aww. And then, I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. Oh, so she really does care about them. She might not show it that much, but she does care about the kids, even though she says she's not fond of taking care of them. She really cares about them because she basically gave up her own life for them. Wow. Training was difficult. I vomited every day and cried every night. But mm. after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. Oh. Eventually, I got used to it. Oh, it baby. It was the same after my first job. For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. But after doing this for such mm. a long time, I felt numb. Oh, that's, oh man, that's so sad. That is so sad. There were so times sad. I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. But I eventually mm. stopped thinking about that. And I just stopped caring. The lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and mm. of being a horrible person. You're Even not a bad person, day, Maki. I think the same thing after I finish a mission. Mm. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? I still think oh. about that all the time. Oh, Maki sighed deeply after bearing her soul. Oh, little Maki roll. I'm so sorry, baby. <sighs> That's all. It wasn't an interesting story to listen to, was it? Okay. Interesting. No, Maki, that was the burden you've been carrying all this. Ah. Jeez, you're carrying too many burdens for someone so small. You know. Well, I could say the same to Shuichi. Uh, really? Uh, listen up. Don't try to shoulder everything on your own. You gotta trust other people. Once you're able to share your burdens with your friends, you then you'll be stronger. <laughs> well, if Maki Ro will be able to talk this much, it means she's gotten a bit stronger already. Mm -hmm. That's true. It might be thanks to the Got training. It. Well, obviously, my training is based on a systematic uh, method. Um... That's kind of vague. I like this. Yes, Maki is opening up. We spent a long while talking about whatever came to our minds. Most of it was meaningless conversation, but it might have been the first time I was able to actually have fun and forget this place. To protect my friends. I need to reveal the truth of this academy. I need to face the truth and reveal it to the world. I'm just glad that Maki is opening up. The to even open up her backstory. Right. Okay, but you don't need to make such a scary face. Besides, it's not just you. That's something we all got to That's do. right. We all should be thinking about what we could do to survive. Mm. Use your self-destruct system to save us. That's how robots make themselves useful. Okay. I'm a little tired of this Kibo slander. All right? Y'all need to shut the fuck up. All right? Damn. Let me go a little closer. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's go ahead and definitely give her a gift. Now, I think I have a specific gift for her. I think I do. I think I do. Okay. How about that? Japanese doll wig. Let's go for cosplay, right? That's good for cosplay, right? What is this? You give this to me? Thank you, thank you so much. Those are the only words I can say. Hey. Shuichi, what do you do when it's nighttime? Do you sleep right yeah. away? Well, I don't really have anything to do, so I tend to go to bed right I away. See. I did that at first, too, but now I usually stay up late. 10 o'clock just seems too early to go to sleep, so I've been making paper patterns for my next cosplay until I get sleepy. I remember crying. That reminds me, you said you were like making my outfits than wearing them, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine if other people wear them. I said it before, but some people have started to promote themselves more than their characters. That's why you cosplay with love. Of course, there are still cosplayers who think their characters are important, but the worst ones just use the characters as stepping huh? stones. Stepping stones? People can get famous doing cosplay, so from there, some people try to use that fame to become celebrities or idols. I suppose that's true. It is a stepping stone for them. Right? Right? It's fine if they disrespect me, but I won't let them disrespect the characters. But when I get mad like that, they just call me an elitist and stop listening. Sumigi sighed, rubbing her temples. This must be serious. When people first started cosplaying, they just want to dress up as the characters because they like them. But before long, it warps. It gets more warped the longer you do it. 
warp, but the feeling doesn't change, does it? Well, for cosplay, you have more contact with others than most hobbies. In the beginning, it's just fun to wear the outfits, but then you start comparing, pushing your opinions, and starting drama, and before you know it, the feeling of wanting to dress up as a character is replaced by a need to put in the effort to meet other people's standards. Makeup, wig color, contacts, whatever you need to make it perfect. Perfection isn't such a bad goal, though, is it? The problem is, they start to make fun of anyone who doesn't get it perfect. Of course, I believe you should work hard to make quality cosplay, but it's even more important to feel like you can become your favorite character. That's why I don't want to call anyone that's just starting out bad or new. You can't! Jeez, I don't have the right words for it. I can't say it well. I know exactly what you're saying, Sumi. I feel this in my soul because, like, like as being a black woman, it you get comments like whenever you do cosplay of anime characters or video game characters just because like they don't have like the same skin tone or whatever like that but i never understood that personally because the people that usually do say that are not the same race as the character either like it'll be like just because i'm darker doesn't matter like i can still cosplay as whatever the hell i want to and i'm going to so if you have a problem with it then you can kiss my ass and everybody else's ass that does it too. So I don't. I get it. I get it. I get it. Sumi, let people cosplay how they want to, and not get all pent up on if it's perfect or not. Okay, just do you. Just do you. No, I think I understand. Sumiki never wants to forget the fun of cosplaying. Those feelings must be what makes her the co ultimate cosplayer. Sorry. Oh, sorry, that wasn't just boring. It got pretty heavy too, huh? Don't think that's all cosplay is, okay? Lots of things about it are just plain hey. fun. Next time, I'll talk about those things if you want to, of course. I like you, Sumagi. You're such a sweetheart. It looks like I have some more free time. Okay, yep. I knew it. I knew it. All right, all right, let's go. All right, let's talk to Kaito. Maybe. Let's talk to him. Oh, Shuichi, what's the matter? Yep, let's hang out with That's you. Right. Yeah, I don't mind talking, but my stomach hurts a little. Can we talk somewhere I can rest? Oh. Are you? Okay, yeah. I need to figure out what his sickness is. I spent some time with Kaito. Didn't he say his stomach hurt last night, too? I hope he's okay. All right, let's give him something that'll probably make him feel better. Who knows? Okay, let's see. Uh, Let's give him... Oh, let's give him this. This is like space drive... Space food, right? Yes? Let's give that to him. Are you giving this to me? You know me so well. All right, thanks for this cool gift. I'll tell you a cool story. All right. All right, today I'm going to tell you about me. What? Hey, so <laughs> you want to know, right? Why I feel so strongly about the universe? <laughs> I guess so. I thought so. I haven't even answered listen yet. Up. Fair warning, this will be a long story. So not only are you going to force me to listen, it's a long I mean... story. When I was a kid, I'd go to my gramps place and play sometimes. He had a pretty big warehouse. I'd run through it looking for treasure. One day, while I was looking around in a warehouse, I found a map. A map of Got what? It. Hold on, one thing at a time. It was a map of the hidden treasures of the sea, a treasure map. I thought it was supposed to be a story about outer space. All right. After I found that map, I made a decision and set out. I went to the nearest pawn shop and sold the map for some cash. Huh? You sold it? Of course. There's no way I, Kaito Momota, Luminary of Stars, would ever follow a map to adventure. A life free from maps, finding my own adventures, that's the life for me. Mm. I see. But, you know. but the sea still called me, so I bought a boat and went on a voyage. I can't tell if he's demented or just really blind. I mean, Soon after becoming a captain, I met my destined huh? rival. Your rival? Right. Yeah, the boss of the great pirates. Uh, so what happened to Outer Space? Like, are we in one piece? Like, what are we doing here? Like, I don't know. But you know. We clashed on the field of battle many times to so we became friends. But during our final battles to see who could conquer the seas, I could have won. But I'm not the kind of guy to be satisfied with just the Listen sea. Listen up. No, I'm not the kind of guy to be satisfied with just the world. That's why I couldn't finish him off with a final punch. He got mad at me for holding back. We haven't met since that day. Even with the benefit of the doubt, his story sounds a little suspect. <laughs> um, I'll just keep listening. Hmm. Right. Come on, man. Hey, it's written all over your huh? face. What is? What? You're not taking it seriously, are you? If it's boring, just say so. Pretend to listen is super unmanly. That's not true. No, I'm not bored or anything. It's really interesting, Kaito. Oh, really? I guess I misunderstood. My bad. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I guess it's taken a while. All right, we'll continue this next time. Okay. okay. I suppose the story has a part two. I wonder where it will end. So, his story ain't done. <laughs> Kaito and I went our separate ways and I returned to my room. This man could talk, man. This man could talk. Like, you love space, but we was talking about the sea? Like, <laughs> come on, hurry it up. Why? I stayed up all night getting this ready for everyone. Alrighty. Okay, then. Everyone, let's go. Wait. Wait. Oh, so she's really gonna bow down? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Not make this look like a manga. Talk about it. <laughs> no. Not a dramatic manga. Oh, mm. I actually feel sorry for her. Hey, let's at least hear her See? out. 
Did you hear that, Mew? Good for you. You get it? How long are you gonna be depressed for you? So, how, hurry up and tell us, Squid Breath. <laughs> yes, sir. Please um, so me. when I said another world, I was talking about this big ass huh? computer. <laughs> what, this? Together. But, but it's a world that Madakuma created, right? If you don't wanna dive in, you can just dip the tip. <laughs> Come on, girl. We, we can't keep doing this. Hey! The tip of what? Just leave it to Gonza. Gonza keep an eye on Kokiji. Hmm. What? Bodyguard? You mean Gonza? Oh, yeah. It seems he planned this all along. Yes. Jeez, he really knows how to manipulate people. Well, whatever. Let's go check out the rooftop. Booyah! All right, follow me. If you want to pick up my skirt while you're at it, go for it. Baby, stop, stop offering yourself up, okay? Stop it. Okay. Sure. Feel cold? Yep, isn't that great? Not only can you feel cold, but you can feel pain and pleasure too. In fact, you don't even need to use birth control here. <laughs> Mew! Oh my god! And accidentally slipped. Don't screw around. That was obviously on purpose. It wasn't on purpose at all. It was an accident. Shut up! You keep talking shit like that, you only ever attract ugly bitches. <laughs> Do you want to spend the rest of your life surrounded by ugly bitches, dumbass? Yeah. What? Hmm. Nothing in the entrance hall. Something outside, Maybe. perhaps? Maybe that sound was something falling off the roof? But the person on the what roof is... What should we do? Is, is, uh, is Kaito, right? For now, let's go outside and check. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Oh, no. Huh? What happened? What? Well, that was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. Why? He sounded close. But Kibo should be in the chapel. Why? Anyway, let's go outside. It'll be faster to see it for ourselves. Right. How the hell are they over here? Did they use something from the chapel to get over here? How they get over to this side? So many questions. Okay, Gonta. Oh, oh, Shuichi and Tsunagi. What are y'all doing? Gonta. Gonta, did you see Kibo around here anywhere? No, no Gonta not see him. Um. Uh, you didn't, but I heard his voice close by. Then did something fall off the roof? You heard that loud noise, right? Um. Oh, Gonta hear noise, but Gonta not see anything. Uh -huh. huh? What could that mean? I thought I heard the sound in Kibo's voice close by, but Gonta didn't see anything. And what about Kaito? He should have heard that from the roof. He would have run over here right away. What's going hey. on? Hey, Shuichi, what does this all mean? Such strange occurrences. All right, my talent is solving mysteries, so that's what I'm gonna all do. Right. We need to figure out why Kibo screamed. Let's head to the chapel. Something might have happened there. Yeah, you're right. But didn't some we're not gonna look, man. We're not gonna look at the roof. What about Kaito? Kaito could be up there dead right now. I don't know. Shuichi. Shuichi, perfect timing. Is there anything over there that can serve as a bridge? How the fuck? What? Kibo's over there. Then what was that shouting I heard earlier? Well... Hey, we should try and find something else to replace the bridge with. Right. Yeah, we might be able to make it in time. Huh? Make it in time? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Hey! What happened? Why are you guys making such a scene? Kokichi. Kokichi. Um... I didn't see anyone in the dining room, so I went to look for you guys. <laughs> Looks like everyone's in trouble now that Mew dropped the bridge. Kokichi. This is no time for laughter. We need to find a replacement bridge. Ah. Oh, but the bridge is over here, you know? Huh? What? What? <laughs> Come on, over here. All right. Anyway, let's go. What? Mm -hmm. Kokichi told us, so now I'm worried. What? Let's just wait and see what happens. Um, where the fuck? Oh, oh okay, so it, it stopped right there. See, the signboard stuck on that boulder is the same one that you dropped, oh, yeah. right? You're right. It got swept all the way here. Huh. Allow Gonta. Leave it to Gonta. Gonta just need to carry a signboard. Hmm. There you go, all Gonta. Right. Now that that's dealt with, let's head back to where everyone else is. Huh. Hmm. How did you know it was over here, Fukichi? Mm hmm. Huh. Are they back yet? Hey. Oh, they're here. Huh. Um, so Gonta just need to put board over river? The board is so thin, will it be okay when the board breaks? It's get it? It may be thin, but it's made of sturdy wood, so can you hurry up and put the bridge got down? It. Okay, got it. Hmm. Hmm. What happened? What's wrong? What happened over there? I'll explain later, but we need to log huh? out right now. Log out? Log out for what? Oh? Huh? Where's Mew? Uh, Something happened to huh? her? What do you mean? Well, We're not sure, but her avatar isn't moving. Maybe something happened to her. Aw, oh, shit! Don't tell me that. Do not tell me that Mew is dead. Do not tell me that Mew is dead. Oh my god. Hmm. This looks real bad, guys. Okay, let's head to the salon and log out ASAP. Oh my god, don't tell me that Mew is hey. dead, yo. Where's Kaito? Well, that's... Kaito, I don't know. I ran here as fast as I could. I didn't check the roof. What? You didn't even bother going to the roof to get him. You're colder than I thought. No, 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 Maki. Hold up. I wanted to go to the roof, okay? I wanted to check on him. But the game said no. The, the game said mind my, my business. So that's what I did, okay? Huh? huh? Okay, let's go, y'all. Shuichi. Shuichi, let's hurry. 
All right, y'all. Let's let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go, y'all. We got a oh man. Mew better not be dead. I oh my god. She better not. She better not be dead, yo. And and Kaito too, man. I don't want either of them. Um, Maki, did you check the rooftop? He wasn't there. What? Huh? He wasn't I there. No one was on the roof. I tried calling for him, but there was no answer. Yeah. Where did he go? What's the point? He probably logged out first by himself. But don't worry, he's stupid enough to get himself killed. But I know he won't really die, huh? What? We need to. We need to go. Uh, I suppose that's true. I don't have to worry about him. I have to hurry and log out. I have to check on you. One of them is dead, or both. I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh. Shuichi. Hold on, Shuichi. We can only log out one person at a time. Um, huh. Going to have next turn. All right. There you go. Uh, so going to say his name and phone and someone can get him? Who cares? Just do it already. Going to. Going to. Goku Hara. Hmm. Oh. He disappears. So that's what logging out looks like. Oh. So the avatars disappear when we log out. But Mew's avatar is still here and unmoving, right? What does that mean? It means that she's uh. dead. Anyway, let's hurry and go back. Mew is dead. Sumigi Shuragane. Hmm. Right? Oh, Shuichi, you can log out before me. I'm sure your detective's intuition is kicking in, right? So go ahead. No, what you, what you trying to do, Kokichi? You go before me, bitch. You go before me. Huh. Man, I want to know what he's doing. Huh. Shuichi. Oh, wait. Now that we're alone, I want to tell you huh? something. What is it? What? <laughs> You're really useful. Huh? Huh? Hey. So how about you stop hanging out with dumb old Kaito and be my friend instead? I think I can be useful to you too, you know? I can help you save everyone. And you want to save everyone, right? Huh? I'm. He's ignoring him. Shuichi Saihara. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I got rejected. But I won't give up that easily. When I find someone I like, I'll do anything to get them to notice me. Even strangle them. Strangle? Strangle who? Who are you strangling? Oh. When I opened my eyes, I could see only black. I was logged out. The helmet on my head was blocking my vision. When I realized that, I quickly reached up to grab the helmet and pulled it off. But when I did, a nauseating sight was waiting for me. It's Mew dead. It's Mew dead. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Mew's cold, dead body. Oh my god! Uh, why? Alright y'all, so that is the end of today's episode of Daniel Rafa. All of my favorite characters are dying and I'm getting kind of depressed, okay? I am. Um, nobody knows where Kaito is. He's not there, so we need to figure out where he went. Um, I need to figure out what Kokichi's doing, talking about if he likes people, he would strangle them. But I feel like he's saying that to throw me off because Mew's body did look like she was strangled to death. But he might be throwing me off to make me think that it's him and it's really not him. So I don't know. I I want to know how Mew got over to the other side without the bridge. I'm trying to figure that out. Um, how do we hear Kibo's voice when we were inside and he was on the other side? Maybe he is he a killer? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm looking at I'm looking at Kibo, Kaito, and Kokichi right now. They're, those are my number three ex. Well, three suspects. That's what that's what I should say. So I'm just, I'm just really depressed that she's dead, man. So before you know what, y'all, if y'all like the video, go go leave a like on subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with another episode of this sometime, man. Good lord, I, deuces, y'all.